So the first room decor that we have today is this. Ta-da! Assalamualaikum and hi everyone, it's Dina here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a huge shoppy room decor slash room organizer haul. But before I start, I just want to tell you guys that I have a Telegram channel where I share everything that I've ever bought on Shopee. And in there, I also suggest good quality, cool stuff. And I already help you guys budget the reviews and like help you guys find the cheapest price that I could find. So if you guys want to save more money, go join my Telegram channel it's free and you guys like free things we all like free things yeah freedom patakai patakai so the first thing that I got is this fluffy carpet rug. I've been wanting this in so long. And this is like the cheapest and like the best quality that I jumpa on Shopee. A lot of people in the review say that this bulu won't tercabut. I can tell that they actually say the truth. Because when I read some reviews from other shops, right, they say the bulu very easy to like you know and I'm happy that I found a good quality one at a cheap price so it comes in white gray light pink rose red and khaki and this is the white one and there's also a lot of options for the measurement mine is the 50 times 120 cm one and the shipping is free so my fellow Sarawakians and Sabahan viewers you guys don't have to worry so the next thing that I got is this premium zebra blind. Mine is in the color light gray and I love it so so much. They have it in brown, purple, light yellow, light gray, light blue, pink, light green and white. But the shop that I got my blind from is slightly pricier than the other blinds that you can find on Shopee. This is the only shop that I could find my blind size because my window size is a bit weird. like. Mm. But the blinds from this shop has like a better quality compared to the other shops on Shopee But I don't think there's like a huge huge difference So I will link down below some cheaper alternatives where you can buy your blinds from with good reviews Yep. Next I got this Korean quality vinyl flooring because I want to give my room a makeover soon And I got the KC011 and there's also a lot of other options like BL1801 BL Okay, I bought five boxes and this is how it looks like. It's pretty heavy and that shows that it's good quality because they're thicker than the ones from other stores and they also ship to Sabah and Sarawak. So my Borneo people, you guys don't have to worry my dudes. I've done my research by reading all the reviews from like different stores and this is like the one of the best review that I could find because the other cheaper ones, right? They say the sticker doesn't really want to stick. This one doesn't have any problem with that. Next, I got this mirror. This is a heart-shaped mirror. It's so pretty. It came in a box, but I already booked up kind of box. You guys can see yourself right now. Hi guys. It comes in pink, white, and purple, and I got the white one. You can hook it on your wall, or you guys can also put it on your table like that. Stand it. Cermin kandiri sebelum mengata pasal orang. Eh, cermin kandiri sebelum mengata pasal orang. Sebelum mengata pasal orang nangga diri kat cermin lo. Diri ya perfect si. Mun si perfect diam ja. Ibu na ano orang. Next is one of my favorite thing that I ever bought from Shopee and I've been wanting this in so long. I remember as a kid, not as a kid, as a teenager, as a teenager, I am still a teenager right now. When I was still in school, I wanted this mirror so bad and now I can finally buy it with my own money. It's a full length mirror and the best part is you can organize your jewelries and like your accessories in there and you can also lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it. So I bought the mirror for 250 ringgit. Shipping fee is 50 plus. I got it for 273 ringgit which is really really affordable because I've already surveyed mirrors from Kaison and like other stores like SSF. The one from Kaison is really really similar to this and it's 330 ringgit. So expensive. They ship it from Semenanjung to Sarawak and it came in perfect condition. Yes, kami orang Sarawak mentong si tau. Ngap sayot! Oi! Oi! We Sarawakians don't talk like that. On behalf of Sarawakians, I am sorry for my behavior. Puja, what is this behavior? What is this behavior? Next! Let's go! I talk too much. I'm so annoying. The next thing that I got is a Minecraft torch. You might think, what is this for? It's useless. It's not useless, guys. It actually lights up. You guys can also take this part out and then stick it on your wall. Nice try. I told you already. It's nice. You guys should buy. I grew up playing Minecraft when I was still in primary school, I think. So this brings back a lot of memories. You know what? At this point, right, I'm just buying stuff that I really wanted as a kid. And I can finally buy it with my own money now. So, Alhamdulillah. 
enough for that. The, I don't want to give a lecture, but like, this is the content that you subscribe for. So I'm going to give you a lecture to my younger audience. If you want something, work for it. When you see someone buying something that you want, work for it. Don't be dunky, don't be jealous of them. I mean, you can envy them, but at a healthy level, use it as an inspiration to get what you want, to work harder, to strive for what you want in the future. Because I know you can achieve, I know you can buy what you want with your own money in the future. If you work for it, inshallah, I'll pray for you guys. Let's succeed together and buy stuff that we want with our own money together. A few minutes later. This was a terrible lecture, man. I kind of hate myself. Next thing that I got is this. It's the vertical power socket. There's three years warranty if you guys buy this. This is how it looks like. 360. 360 turn, let's go. So there's four USB ports and eight sockets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is also Serum certified, so you guys don't have to worry. There's surge protector, so if you guys use this plug when it's raining, when there's thunder outside, it can save your electrical appliances. So the first room decor that we have today is this. Ta-da! I'm kidding, this is a joke. But you know what? They actually sell this on Shopee. A fake one lah, but you can like buy it for your friends who have a YouTube channel or you guys can also buy it for yourself if you have a YouTube channel as a motivation to get the subscribers that you want. Next, I got this cute box. This is one of my favorite purchase. It's very good quality and it's very, very affordable. It's very cheap. I got the one in gray, but they also have it in red, yellow, blue, brown, green, pink, sky blue, black, and purple. I bought six of these and I recently bought another tree. So this is how it looks like. I'm going to open one for you guys. It is foldable and you just pull it like this and then it comes with this thing right here. This cardboard thing where you can put it inside. Like that. Super convenient. You guys can also bring this to your dorm, your asrama, sebab. It's very easy to carry around. Next is this drawer organizer. And it's really, really easy to assemble. All you have to do is like screw this part in. It's very useful where you can like stack your clothes so you guys can save a lot of space. If you guys want to see how I personally use this, stay tuned for my room makeover video that I'm going to post soon, inshallah. Next is an anime merch. I bought this Kimetsu no Yaiba sword stand. This one is 18 ringgit. The stand is 3 ringgit. The quality is really, really good, guys. This one is heavy. And you guys can actually put the sword in like that. It's not sharp, by the way. It's very blunt. It won't hurt you, I hope. Even if it does, it won't hurt me as much as the words thrown by mean people. I'll give you guys see the details. You can choose swords from other Demon Slayer characters too. So yeah. Next, I got this phone slash iPad stand. And this one is very, very good quality. The cheaper ones that I found on Shopee, right? A lot of the reviews say that the quality is not really good. And senang pata, yang ni very, very sturdy. This is how it looks like. Very minimalistic. You can pull it like this. You can tilt this like that. I use this to hold my iPad. It holds my iPad really well. Next, I bought this rack where you guys can put it in your wardrobe or your closet to have more space on top. So if you guys have like wardrobe yang tinggi, right? Tinggi like me. <laughs> tinggi like Levi. Levi da. You guys can use this and you guys can also extend this. It comes with a screw at the back and you guys can twist this and extend or pendekkan the shelf. And I also bought another one in this size. You guys can see the size difference. The back one is wider, lebih lebar. Yang ni lebih nipis. So, yeah. Also, here's a tip for you guys to buy things online. You guys should measure your wardrobe or your closet or your cabinet. So, it's easier for you guys to buy things online. I drew the layout of my closet and I did something like this. So, I can see what I want to buy and where I want to put it clearly. Next, I got this clothing rack. It's inspired by IKEA. It comes in two colors and it comes in single and double. I bought the double one because I want to store more clothes and the shipping fee was 14 ringgit so that's pretty good. So to pair up with the white clothing rack, I bought hangers. What was that high-pitched voice? I bought a bunch of hangers. I bought 50 hangers. If you guys can't tell already, I like to do research before I buy stuff online. When I buy something, I want to use it for as long as possible. So I will always find like the best quality. I don't mind paying more, but it's best if I could find cheap ones. This is really, really cheap. This hanger is one ringgit 
each. Even though it's plastic, the quality is really good. It's actually very sturdy. And what I like about this hanger is it's seamless. So if you guys put your baju right, it won't break do it or like have like those bumps. And my favorite part about this hanger is it's super super thin. Can you guys tell? It's super super thin. So it won't take too much space in your wardrobe. And it's quite light too. So if you guys want to bring this to your asrama, perfect choice. You guys can also like hook your tank tops here. But if you guys are planning to buy other types of hangers, these are my top picks. The first one is Hanger Kayu, wooden hanger. This one is really really sturdy and it will make your wardrobe look more expensive. But I didn't choose wooden hangers because I have a very limited space in my wardrobe and I don't want it to take too much space, you know. Another one of my favorites is velvet hangers. They also have it in a lot of colors like black, light gray, gray, dark gray, pink, ivory, light pink, red, light purple, pink, and royal blue. What I like about velvet hangers is they're very thin like this one. It won't let your baju tergelin chair dari hanger and velvet it will make your wardrobe look more expensive. If you guys want the cheapest good quality hanger, you guys should go for the stainless steel anti-slip hanger because they are only 70 cents each. I suggest a big color black or white because it goes with everything. But if you guys want to buy other colors, that's up to you. Different people, different tastes. Next, I got this partition shelf kind of thing where you get this on your wardrobe like that and you guys can separate your stuff like here and here. The price is only four ringgit. It comes in two colors. You guys can also put it like this and you guys can put gantong toile here. The next thing that I got is basket. Fruits basket. Putara basket. You guys can lipat it. Macam ni. This why la untuk asrama and you guys can store a lot of stuff inside. There's like handles here and here like that. And this is the texture if you guys want to see. Very minimalistic. And then it comes in two colors, black and white. It comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. This is the large one. The inside is most probably waterproof. It's like this lichen material. Another organizer. This one is a bit unique because it's clear here. So you guys can put stuff right. You guys can see what's inside. And you guys can pull it like that from your closet. Gitu. I bought two of these. It came like this. Extend it like that. Comes with this. Like that. Put it inside to make it secure. Another organizer but this one is the biggest organizer that I got. It looks like this. It's really big and you can put a lot of stuff inside. I da chubeleta under my bed. Bawah katil and it fits perfectly. This is how it looks like when you beli it. Take it out. Like that. And then you pull it. And then this one you pata ta kai raho la zuke bang jin chi ai hen nan ne inside Next are some random stuff. So the first thing that I got is this cable organizer where you can organize your cables. From the same store, I got this. These are cable organizers as well. But this one is clips where you can put it on your wall. Next is really random. It's not really a room stuff but I bought this wash bag, laundry bag. So if you guys want to chuchi your tudong or like your undergarments, you guys can use this. Put it inside and you guys can wash it in your washing machine. Next, I'm going to show you guys stuff that I'm going to use in my room makeover video soon. First thing that I got is a doorknob. I want to change my doorknob because mine dah berkara. It comes with new keys. Masking tape for my painting process. I bought these sandpaper because I'm planning to paint my wardrobe. It looks like a disc because I'm going to attach it. Put my screwdriver here and like sand the wood so it will be smooth like my pickup lines. I'm kidding. I bought paintbrush. Two sizes. A big one and a small one. I bought the spray paint from Mr. The DIY, they have it on Shopee. I bought two white spray paint. And lastly, I bought this lacquer. How do you pronounce this word? Lacquer? I don't know, man, but like, yeah. The past chat guna ni, you use this to seal it untuk nampak lebih cantik and berkilat. I have three paints with me. Firstly, I have normal wall paint. And then I bought undercoat to paint my wardrobe. Guna sanding first, guna undercoat. And then I use chat kilat. It's in white. So yeah. So if you guys want to see how I paint my wardrobe, how I kemas my bilik, how I use all the organizers that I showed you guys. Stay tuned for my room makeover video soon. That's it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to join my Shopee Telegram group. And if you watch until this part of the video, comment down below your favorite thing that I bought in this video. Yeah, peace out from Dina. Bye-bye.